Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can download and use TeamViewer on any Windows machine at all. So the first thing you need to do is open up an internet browser. It doesn't matter what it is, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, it could be anyone you like. Uh, if you go to Google and just type in TeamViewer and search, then there's this link here, TeamViewer 12 download. You just click on that. Then here, download Team Viewer 12. If you just click on that link, and you can see here it's uh, downloading this executable. Now, for those of you that don't know, Team Viewer is basically it's a remote support tool that most um, IT guys will use to get on your machine. Uh, it will enable them to get on your machine and they can see, they can be able to control your machine to fix any issues you might have. Okay, as we can see, the Team Viewer um, installer file has downloaded, so all we need to do now is just click on it. Okay, so we can do two things here you can do a basic install. Or what I do all the time is run only so it's basically gonna just run and you don't need to install it on your machine at all so I'd recommend to do that one or you could do, you could do that one it's, it's up to you I prefer to do run only and if you just select if it's for personal use or company use click on accept run Get this just click yes okay it's just a general overview of what's what but let me just close that down and show you so now here this is your ID so if you want somebody else to uh, remotely get on your machine and see what you're doing and take control uh, what you need to do is give them this number this uh, nine digit number uh, they'll enter it in on their machine, they'll then get prompted for a password, uh, just give them this password and then they'll have full access to your machine. If you want to do it the other way around, if you want to get onto somebody else's machine, what you do is you get them to give you that number, so you'll then type it in. You'll click on connect to partner, it will then prompt you for the password. Uh, you enter the password that they give you, here it's 4154. And yeah, after that, they sh you should be able to get onto their machine and control their machine. 